Hey guys, it's Jerry here. It's very late at night. It's 101 a.m. <laughs> and I'm here to show you how to make a wallpaper like this one. And I'm actually going to walk through this really slow, nice and easy for all the beginners out there especially. And hopefully you'll pick up some new Photoshop techniques if you uh, haven't seen these in the past. So let's go ahead and, and uh, open up Photoshop. Uh, actually, before that, let's right click on our desktop and get your resolution size. So right click screen resolution. And my screen size is actually 1920 by 1080 for the monitor I'm using right now to record. So I'm going to actually, uh, you know, that's what you would use, whatever your numbers are for your monitor. This way the wallpaper fits exactly uh, your screen size resolution and it looks the uh, best quality possible on your screen. Okay, so remember right click screen size resolution and uh, you're good to rock. So I'm going to exit out of this. And let's open up Photoshop here. I'm going to put this full screen. And first of all, I'm going to go to File New. Okay, and we're actually going to make a pattern first. Okay, so we don't have to do all the lines individually. And to do this, I'm going to go, what, like 12 or... Uh, let's try 12 by 12. Uh, 12 by 12 pixels. Uh, RGB color, make sure that's on. And the background contents, I guess you can change that to white. So we're going to click OK. Great, so we have this tiny little square here, and what we want to do is hold Alt and scroll in, or what you can do is hold Control and hit the plus sign, and this will zoom in. Alright, cool. So from here, what we want to do is actually get our pencil tool, and it might be on brush, so click and hold and get out your pencil tool. Uh, make sure the color is on black. Right click in the uh, canvas in the project area, go to one pixel, hardness 100%, and just make your diagonal line all the way across. Oops. Oops, wow, messed up a few times. Okay, so that is our pattern, and we're gonna go to Edit, Define Pattern, and name this video Pattern, whatever you wanna name it really. Click OK. All right, so now we're actually ready to make our wallpaper. Let's go to File again, and then go to New, or Control N, and this time I'm gonna do a 1680 by 10, no, no, no. What am I doing? I'm going to go 1920 by 1080 because that's my wallpaper size. RGB color, make sure that's on, and background content's white. That's fine. I can leave that all the same. All right, now we're going to start out with a gradient. And to do this, we're going to get our, our gradient tool. Okay, it might be on paint bucket again, so click and hold, hit gradient. Next, go over to radial gradient up here. It kind of looks like a sphere. Um, again, if you want to uh, change up this wallpaper, make it your own. You could change it to any of these gradients here, uh, but for the sake of this tutorial, I'm going to change it to the radial gradient. Let's go over to this arrow and bring it down. Double click this first square. What this will do is it'll enable us to use our foreground and background colors. So if I go ahead and switch them back and forth, you can see that bar up there changing as well. Okay, so that's what that first square means. It means that you're using the background and foreground colors. I'm going to use the red scheme for my uh, wallpaper, so I'm going to go ahead and select the foreground color and make it like a lightish red or uh, like a mid-red. Okay, so if you're using, let's say, green, um, use a mid-green, if you're using yellow, whatever fits your logo, really. All right, I'm going to hit the background color and make it like a dark red. So I use a light version slash medium version of your color and then a dark version of the color. All right, I'm going to zoom out just a bit, hold shift. So I can get a straight line for my gradient here. And just get the gradient that I'm looking for. And I think I like that one right there. All right, so cool. Now we have a radial uh, gradient here. Makes it look really nice around the edges. It's nice and soft. If it looks like crap on the video, don't worry. Reds just don't come out that well uh, in the videos. Okay, so don't worry about that. It'll look nice when you do it. Let's go ahead and make a new layer here. So let's click this sticky note looking icon over here in the layers panel. Cool, and this is where we're gonna actually add our pattern. So we're gonna go to Edit, Fill, Pattern, okay. Uh, custom Pattern, let's go all the way down to the last one we made, double click. And then Blending Mode Normal and Opacity 100%, click OK. All right, so now it's all white and stuff. What we're actually going to do is change this layer style to Overlay. All right, now it's gonna be really bright. It's gonna really just uh, look not that good, unless you like that, I mean. Hey, it doesn't look good for the wallpaper I'm going for. Uh, to you know, darken that, we're going to actually change the opacity down some. Okay, I'm going to change it to about 20%. Okay, if we zoom in, we can see those lines look pretty good. Cool. Uh, let's create another layer. And I'm actually going to plop in my logo at this point. So I'm going to go to File, Place, 
uh, and hit my logo just like that. I'm gonna make it just a bit bigger. Okay, make sure my snaps are on. Yes, yeah, so it snaps hopefully to the middle. Uh, yeah, it's not snapping. All right, whatever, that's fine. This is just a tutorial anyway. So get the size that you want your logo to be and place it where you want it to be. Okay, I'm gonna place it about in the middle. Cool, now I'm gonna go ahead and uh, copy this down. So right click it, duplicate that layer and uh, do call this like white circle. Okay, all right, now the white circle, make sure it's at the bottom below your logo, okay? Remember you can just click and drag and bring it down below your logo layer. Now what I'm gonna do with this white circle is hit control T, okay? And what this will do is bring out our transformation feature in Photoshop. Hold shift and grab a corner. If you don't hold shift, it's gonna warp the logo. But if you hold shift, no matter what you do, it's gonna keep its proportion. So I'm gonna make it just a bit bigger like that. Oops, see how I did that, I let go too soon. Just a bit bigger. And then I'm gonna center it up with the logo. All right, so what I'm gonna do now is right click this uh, white circle layer, go to blending options, and then go to co color overlay and change this color to a white just like that opacity 100 percent cool and click OK now I'm gonna right click it again go to rasterize a layer right click it again go to convert to smart object right click that and go to rasterize layer alright I probably didn't have to do rasterize smart rasterize again whatever but um, what I'm trying to get here is this white circle okay and then you see it's bigger than the logo. That's gonna take place, that's gonna really come in handy uh, in a bit. All right, so now what we're going to do is make another layer, okay? And now this one, uh, make it under the logo layer, okay? So, and we're gonna name this Big Lines or Rectangles, whatever you wanna call it. And I'm gonna grab the Shape tool here, uh, make sure it's on a rectangle. Change this color to white, the foreground color to white. All right, now what you wanna do is actually make sure uh, it's up here it's selected on this shape right here and rectangle and you should be good to go mode normal opacity 100 percent and you should be good to go okay so let's go ahead and create like a thick looking uh rectangle here cool just like that all right i'm gonna hold alt bring it down some like that okay now i'm gonna select them both by going over here in the layers panel okay i'm gonna hold control and click that second big lines layer and now i can actually uh, move them both but what I want to do is actually uh, alt click both just like that okay see what I'm doing there okay so now we have our uh, big lines going on there uh, the logo and white circle I actually want to move this just down a bit just like that okay so I can even up these two spaces here all right so now we have four big lined uh, layers here and what I want to do is actually just combine all these so it, tree, uh, so it turns into one layer. And to do this, I'm going to write, I'm going to click the bottom layer, hold shift and click the top layer of those big line uh, layers. Okay, or you can control click each one in. Okay, so control click, whatever. Right click that and go to merge layers. Cool, so now it's one big layer. Uh, the next thing you want to do is actually make another layer. And this time we're going to make smaller uh, white rectangles. Okay, so about about like that cool now I'm gonna move these into place okay and I'm gonna copy this one down a bit just like that copy it down again to the middle of the logo and actually uh, grab yeah these two right here and then drag those down like about right there I guess okay so now we have all these white lines going everywhere um, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, I want to get these five layers and merge those. So now we have uh, the small lines layer. We have the big lines layer. We have the white circle logo, and this is the pattern. All right, now what we're going to do is change each of these uh, white lines or uh, white shapes, really. Change their layer style to overlay. Okay, looking pretty good. Now we're actually, that looks way too harsh, so I'm going to change the opacity down. What should I change it to around 25%? So 
So change all of these layers to 25%, all of the uh, white lined layers. Just like that, okay? So we get like a nice soft looking uh, look here. All right, but if I zoom in, we're not quite done yet. You'll see the, uh, you can see these small lines going through this white circle. Now I wanna get rid of these small lines in there. And to do that, we're gonna actually grab our white circle layer, uh, hold control and click in the thumbnail of that layer, okay? And then it'll select everything in that layer. All right, that, obviously all that white circle stuff. Now make sure the small lines layer is selected. Oops, make sure it's blue, selected. Control X, just like that, they delete. And also I wanna do that to the pattern too. So let's go ahead and grab the white circle. Let's go to the pattern, Control X. All right, that's looking uh, pretty cool, just like that. Uh, let's see, let's grab the small lines and also delete the pattern uh, from there. Okay, so you see, you can go for a total new look here. I'm just playing around now. Okay, so you can see what I did right there. I deleted the patterns from each of those things there. and uh. I mean, I guess that looks all right. I don't know if I want to keep that, but uh, yeah, I guess I'll keep that just for the heck of it, just for the sake of the video. You don't have to do that. All I did was, you know, control click the small lines, went down to the pattern layer, uh, control X to delete everything in that uh, field. Okay, so now the patterns aren't going through our lines anymore. We have a nice gradient in the background. We have a pattern going on. This looks pretty cool. Now, the last thing we need to do is actually add our text. So create a new layer, go to our text tool, and the font I'm gonna use is Century Gothic, okay? Uh, the size of the font, around 50, it really depends on the size of your wallpaper, the size of your resolution. Okay, I'm gonna type in comp help, just like that. Okay, and I'm actually gonna change this color to a black. Okay, cool. Let me zoom in a bit, see what I'm looking at here. You make this a little bit bigger by hitting Control T. I'm gonna even it up with the middle of my logo. Okay, and then I'm gonna, you know, even it out with the bottom of this uh, line there. Okay, that's what we have so far. Now, what I'm going to do is bring the opacity of this layer down some, just like that. Or maybe let's see what what would happen if I did overlay. Okay, overlay works too. All right, so that's all I did. I, added an overlay, and uh, I also brought the opacity down to about 65%. You know, if I bring this to 100, cool. I think this uh, wallpaper is finished. So there you go, it's really easy. I mean, I showed you guys a lot of cool things here. I showed you how to make a pattern. I showed you guys how to delete things in a layer that, uh, you know, whatever is in certain layers, which is really cool. Um, showed you how to use like a radial gradient how to move layers around, how to merge layers. All right, um, I cut a bit, okay, and I just came back. What I did, I didn't like how uh, the lines were not showing through, how I deleted the lines in these lines here, in these uh, rectangle shapes. I didn't like the way that turned out in the end, so all I did is I uh, I made the that pattern again, you know, deleted the layer, did it all over again, changed it to overlay, brought the opacity down to a, a 6%, and uh, it looked a lot better. It doesn't look as bright as when it was, see how it makes it look really bright uh, when the pattern, it's because that white color that we have in the pattern. But anyways, that's what I did, I brought it down to about 6%, makes the wallpaper a little bit darker, makes it, uh, it gives it like a darker mood. We can actually make this gradient darker too. Let's see how this would look if I went for that red and then like a really, really dark red. Let's see. Wow. Okay, so as you can see, you can get many different uh, looks here. Oh, we can even do something like that. You see what I mean? Uh, with your, yeah, you just get creative with your projects, and you can really make these logos, these uh, wallpapers look really cool. I actually like that better. You know, I made that gradient out from the middle from the logo. And uh, I think that looks pretty cool. So I'm gonna keep it like that. Uh, see, I just experiment and that's how I find new ways to make wallpapers and stuff. And it's, it's actually really fun, bad work. 
Okay, but so difference, something else that I see out here is I didn't change this opacity like I did with the small lines. The small lines is actually 40%, so I'm gonna change this white circle to 40% as well. There we go, now it matches, and it looks a lot better. And then these big lines, I just kept it at a 25%. Uh, you know, not everything has to be the same, but in the case of these lines that are all connected in a way, I wanted those to stay the same color. So big lines I changed to about 15%. You know, just I'm just experimenting here. I'm just having fun as I'm making the video. You know, I gotta keep myself entertained, right? This is probably my 20th take, no joke. But uh, there you go. Thank you for watching this video. Please thumbs up, comment, and subscribe. The last thing that you'd want to do from here is actually, you know, just file and save it as a uh, either PNG or a JPEG. PNG is recommended, uh, but for some reason my PNG files are getting corrupted. I don't know why. Um, so I'm gonna save this as a JPEG. 12 uh, quality right click it set as desktop and there we go it looks really nice um so so there you go guys thank you for watching this video remember to thumbs up comment and subscribe uh yeah i know it's a long video but uh towards the end i started experimenting and i think i like this result better how i made the gradient come out uh really light and then dark from the logo so that was really cool okay thank you for watching bye Hey, what's up? I can't believe you are watching for this long. I mean, your attention span has got to be crazy, you know? Um, so what I want to do is give you guys something special. I, I want to award you guys with something, or not award, but um, a thank you gift. There we go. I want to give you guys a thank you gift. And uh, what it is, is look in the description below. It's basically the PSD file for this wallpaper, okay? And I made it super easy for you to just go in there and uh, change it how you want it. Okay, I have like instructions as a layer and stuff. Just read that, and you know all you have to do is like replace a layer with a, with your own logo, and boom, your logo is now inside of the wallpaper. And just size it and place it to wherever you want it to be, and there you go. Your logo is now on the wallpaper. Uh, you can just hit Control U on a certain layer, and boom, you could change the background uh, color. You know, so everything changes and it looks really cool. I've seen some really cool combinations, cool color combinations with this uh, method. So check it out. I want to thank you guys again. So download that PSD file and have a nice day. Really, so. Again, theke you for watching. Hope you guys subscribe to my channel. You know, I put in this work for you guys. You know, I don't really expect much back, but just as for you to keep checking out my videos and keep watching me. And you know, I, I enjoy making these things and uh, I plan to do it for a while. So thank you for watching. Bye.